Hi everybody, Grace here and welcome to this Grace Note, How to Be a Human. So um, this is particularly for, well it's for everyone really. I, I think we, we kind of, um, we weren't told something really huge when we were born and when we were children and when we were growing up and, and frankly it's because our parents didn't know and the people before them didn't know and and I feel in discovering what I've discovered in the last couple of years, I feel a huge responsibility to share this message. And when I think about it, I think about how this understanding and this message um, really boils down to a kind of roadmap to being human. So I hope that you've been able to see some of the other videos here on my channel and get a feel for what we explore and, and how we do that and, and what I talk about. But even if this is your first time watching, you've chosen a great one because what could be better than to understand how to be a human? <laughs> it might seem a bit strange um, as a title, but it seems to me that we, um, <clears throat> We weren't really taught how to navigate challenge and stress and uncertainty. And I think there's something really important that we as humans can begin to get a feel for, get an understanding for, that can literally transform our experience of life. And then that was my journey. You know, that, that was how I came across this understanding. Um, you know, I'd been doing very well in business. I, you know, I'd left my job as a school teacher. I created something new for myself. And I was really enjoying um, working with individuals and living the high life and earning what I wanted and traveling wherever I wanted and staying in five star hotels and everything. Um, but at some point on my journey, that all uh, became like a little bit less meaningful and I started to find myself just wondering was there more to life you know and, and I was someone who was doing something she enjoyed I had the um I'd left the job and I'd started something new and I was doing what I enjoyed so that particular question and exploration led me to um, my next mentor, if you like, and through uh, working with him, uh, I began to explore with him the principles behind life, the principles behind life known as the three principles that had been discovered by a very humble um, Scottish welder uh, who'd had an enlightened experience where he really came to see that there are three principles operating through us as we experience life here. Uh, and as I began to explore that direction, one of the biggest things that was awakened for me was in seeing that actually I wasn't confident at all. <laughs> now that might sound like a downer, <laughs> but I really thought that I was the confident one until I found myself in a room one day with a group of wonderful people and I literally couldn't connect with them, couldn't really breathe properly, was very caught up about how I looked and did I have the right bag and when the teacher asked a question was I going to get it right and I better sort of make sure people like me. And whatever happened in that room that day, my mind quietened down enough for me to see that I was very self-conscious. And in that moment, it was like, like a light bulb going on in a dark room. I realized that for so many years, I had mistaken um, my confidence with actual, actually a deep insecurity. 
that that deep insecurity was always at work. That that need for people to to like you and to be to to be doing well compared to others and that need to be seen and that need to achieve something was actually not an ambition or a confidence at all it was actually a deep rooted insecure feeling that was in the driver's seat and so it occurred to me like at some point on our journey we do become self-conscious but up until that point we are always in our true nature if you look at little babies for example or children you know they'll tell you what they want if they can speak they'll confidently go in the direction of what they're looking for um, at some point in our journey we begin to separate out we begin to become self-aware and the ultimate is we become self-conscious. And when we are self-conscious, it can really look like there's a separate me and you and our confidence isn't there. And I think this is one of the areas that I want to sort of just open up around how to be a human. It's like, first know where you're operating from. Is it a state of self-consciousness? Do you worry about what people think of you? Do you hold a lot of tension in your body and maybe hold yourself back a lot? Do you um, feel insecure? Are you constantly chasing the next goal? Are you unhappy until your ambition is complete and I'm not saying that those are wrong but I'm saying one of the fundamental things around learning how to be a human and so that you can live well so that you can operate well so that you can succeed easily is that you really get to know the difference between operating from an insecure place in yourself and operating from your true nature the part of you that knows exactly what to do and is less concerned with the outcome and how it looks to the world and more concerned with being of service and showing up and, and being connected. Like for me, one of the big indicators that something was off was in when I was in that room, I couldn't connect to the people around me. The connection was blocked because I was so caught up in how I looked and was I going to get the answer correct for the teacher in the room? And um, how did I measure up compared to the other women? And, and how were they dressed and how was I dressed? And um, were there any men? Were they, were they looking at me or were they looking elsewhere? Like that's how self-conscious and lost I personally was. And what I discovered on this journey was that that level of self-consciousness, like that, that's not who we are. You might not even know that's where you're operating from right now. I didn't. Something happened to me in that room that day where my mind got quiet enough for the light to go on and I saw what I was doing to myself. And my world transformed as a result of seeing that. As a result of understanding this principle of thought. As a result of exploring this particular principle. And seeing that the only thing we're ever up against is insecure thought. And mostly it's about ourselves. We just don't know it's what we're doing. <clears throat> And so my world changed. Um, you know, I began to A, be less self-conscious because I began to know when I was getting lost in that. I recognized the feelings again. One in particular for me was always being an urgency, um, always needing to be somewhere else, um, always worrying about what people thought of me and holding, naturally holding my breath very shallow breathing, very tight upper body. 
And so I began to relax, you know, I began to just relax into life. And something I never did before was videos. I always sort of hid behind my blog or my perfect photo shoot and everything had to be perfect before I would even speak to you, my audience. And that all fell away. It didn't matter anymore. What mattered was getting the message out to you and, um, and, and just being okay, regardless of what people thought or how I measured up or where I was compared to others. And again, I want to reiterate, I was someone who was doing really well, like by the world standards, I created a multiple six figure business and it was running consecutively really well. You know, I had traveled the world first class. I'd stayed in the five star hotels. I had been, you know, um, I'd been in media. I'd been interviewed as an expert, Sunday Times, the Forbes, all the whole lot. And yet, you know, there was that self-consciousness there, that disconnect. And I think when we're not operating from there, people feel us more. I think it's an invisible marketing that you just have that draws people in and gives you the opportunity to just show up and serve and not have to be someone else or say something else or try and manipulate people into understanding what you've got. There's just an ease about it. It's a wonderful feeling. And, and so when I think about this subject, how to be a human, what I think is fundamental, what they forgot to tell us at the beginning was <clears throat> that you don't have to separate out. Is that there is no other self out there. The other person who's succeeding is not separate or different from you. And I think that as children, somewhere on that timeline, I don't know when it happens, but somewhere on that timeline, we become very aware of our little self. And part of my job is to help each of you through these videos, through coaching work, through blogs, through whatever I can give you and help you with, to help you come back home to that centered less self-conscious place, that self with a capital S, where you're able to easily connect, where you're able to move beyond the place you've been operating in for 40 years or more, whatever. Where you're able to breathe a sigh of relief and just be who you are and relax that body and that tension down where you're actually able to be a human who functions really well most of the time, who doesn't get lost for too long, and who ultimately ends up engaging with his or her purpose, be that a business or a career or a direction or whatever it is. Because when we fall out of self-consciousness, we fall into service. When we fall into service, it's an incredible thing. We're even less aware of self. And so my job is to help you keep getting engaged with the service that you've got. Keep getting engaged with the service that you want to put out into the world. Keep getting engaged with serving, serving the people who need you, the clients who are looking for you right now. To keep moving you beyond your self-consciousness, your insecurities. And to help you be a human, a better human, a real human, who functions really well whilst you're here. So somebody should have told us, yes, but innocently, they didn't know. And now we do. Now I hope in my sharing with you, you're starting to get a sense for how this world 
works, this secret to life, this direction. So I'd love to know what you hear in this. And I'm, this, this topic is bigger than me. <laughs> so there's, I'll probably come back with more. But this is the key. This is the fundamental piece. And I would love to hear from you in a comment below if you'd like to comment. Just what are you hearing? What stands out? What do you want to message me with? Grace at citygirlconfidence.com. And I look forward to being back with you really soon for another Grace Note. Enjoy being a human. <laughs> Ciao.